I put all the raw images in the description link. I have named them in numerical order so you don't get confused. Okay, let's move on to the video tutorial. Select media, then select images in order. That is the name of the image sequence. Select merge images. Select image number one to number 22. Select according to the instructions above. Look, the pictures are neatly arranged in order. Hmm, it looks like this ear is stuck inside. Come on, find the picture of the ear. Then slide the ear to the left. Good, ears are visible. Next on how to move your hair, select the image you want to move. Select effects and add effect. Select wave warp. Follow the text on the right. For the top, add a keyframe. Nice, it looks smooth now. Select the effects menu, copy effect. Looking for bangs. Select effect and paste effect. Hmm, the pony animation looks slow. Select effect settings. Change level to four. Looks better. Select next image. Repeat as before, so that the movements do not look exactly the same. Change the stage effect settings a bit so it looks different. Copy Bang's hair effect. Paste the effect to the next hair. Change the anchor setting movement a little.
Hmm, okay, it looks better now. Then move the tie. Okay, add bend effect. Select move and transform. Select move. Move the dot position to the tie. Next, set the effect. Add keyframe. Setting graph. My friends keep me out and Select this setting because this setting can move repeatedly. Okay, it looks good. Select all the hair, eyes, mouth, and nose. Connect them to the head. Do it repeatedly. Okay, continue the head animation. Select head. Select move and transform. Select move. Move the mark to the chin. Select rotation. Add keyframe. Follow the settings. Nice. Then connect the head to the body. Select this. And select this. And connect the tie and collar to the head. Okay, it's connected. Select body. Select this, move the dot to the bottom. Next, select zoom and select this. Add keyframe. The last keyframe is like this. Select graph. Follow the graph setting as usual. Nice. Last step, add shape. Stretch it to fill the entire screen. And next, add effect copy background. Then add bend effect. Select and add keyframe. Follow my setting.
Look, it's finished. I hope you can too. Comment if you hope to continue to part two. Please help support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and liking this video. See you next time. Goodbye.